In the previous lesson, we covered how to help children independently name items and photos without any models or verbal cues. Now we're going to use many of these same principles and techniques to help them spontaneously name objects. We'll also cover some activities to keep practice fun and engaging. You've helped your child imitate the names of objects. Now it's time to get them to name them independently. You will first want to start off by selecting objects they're familiar with. These can be things like household objects, clothing items, their favorite toys or animals, and transportation vehicles. Here are some ways in which you can target naming these objects. Pick a time where your child is really engaged. Maybe it's during a fun afternoon at the park. While you play with them, ask them about things you encounter. You could point to the slide and say, what's this? And see if they'll name slide. If you hear a bird, point to it and say, what do you hear? Again, see if your child can label bird. If your child doesn't imitate in the beginning, give them the initial sound cue such as b, b for bird to see if this helps. If they still don't respond, model the word for them and see if they'll imitate. Here's another idea. If your child has a doll or stuffed animal with clothing accessories, label the items as you get the toy dressed. You can practice things like naming socks, shoes, shirt, pants, etc. Just select a toy or activity that will get your child engaged. That is the most important part. Over time, as your child starts to increasingly label and name objects more, we'll want to monitor whether they begin to use these labels when making requests or comments. If they can label milk independently, that's great, but we want their speech momentum to keep going. We want to see those labels turn into requests. Maybe your child will use milk in order to request that their cup be filled. Or maybe they see you drinking milk and they label milk as if to comment that they see and understand what you're doing. This is how language, as well as the give and take of communication, gets started. But it all starts by spending time with your child practicing object labels. While we're starting to sound like a broken record, it's important to practice tasks like these daily. Your child will benefit so much from the constant practice, as well as your expectations when it comes to labeling objects. The more practice, the more likely your child is to independently produce words. So try to practice for at least 15 minutes per day. We know it can be hard work to practice so much, but we promise it's worth it. The time and energy you put into your child's development will pay off big time. You're giving them the gift of communication, which is pretty amazing. Thank you.